اول كانوا ببساطة يعني ف احنا جينا هني نعلم الجيل الجديد اللي ما يعرف هاي الاشياء لاني انا تعلمت من امي ومن يدتي ومن غيره شلون تسوون هالشيء فانا جيت اليوم دوري انا اعلم الاجيال الجديده اللي ما يعرفون يعني هالاشياء being on stage is exhilarating you get to play a role that is not your day to day life so you get to be something else and, and try and portray it the best way you can and it's just about put yourself outside your comfort zone really Hello and welcome to Qatar 365 with me, Laila Humaira. On this episode, we raise the curtain on the performing arts scene in Qatar. With a diverse population and a melting pot of cultures, the growth in talent and theatre has been as dramatic as the country's economic development. But first, Adel Halim takes a look at Qatar's folk heritage through an annual festival. These young boys are taking part in a traditional Qatari sword dance, which dates back to when Bedouin tribes largely populated the country. For Saud Abdullah Al Dosari, it's essential to keep Qatari traditions alive. حاول نعلم الجيل القادم عشان يكون في استمرارية للفن ولأداء. قديما كانوا يمارسونها نوع كتحفيز للجنود أو للمقاتلين إن يرفعون من روحهم المعنوية. بس يعني خلاص ذاك ذاك الوقت انتهى فلحد الحين احنا مستمرين على احياء هاي الفن ما شاء الله الشباب كلهم الاغلبيه خبره وفنانين Attendees were also treated to a small scale military parade which included a performance from the military band and a demonstration of weapon skills The show highlighted Qatari culture and traditions, both on land and sea, showcasing what life was like in the desert before the discovery of oil and gas. MashaAllah, in the past, there are many things that are present from our culture, from our culture. We have food, 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 we have food. While the Darb al Sai festivities lead up to Qatar's National Day, the event's special focus on national heritage and identity continues all year long. Through a variety of cultural events, citizens, residents and visitors alike can enjoy activities that go back generations. <laughs> Across the festival grounds, the Alcor traditional art band is trying to preserve another traditional Qatari art form through music. أول كان كله كل شيء يصير في في القرى أو شيء أقاني بسيط بسيطة أهاديج لما يجون الرجال من القوس طبعاً أو يروحون القوس ويرجعون فلما يجون شلون يستقبلونهم ما في تلفزيون ولا إذاعات ولا هذه. بالغناء وال والرديح يعني ويسوونه يعني في طريقة أن يستقبلونهم الحريم كترحيب فيهم أو فرحين أو جايين من قزو أو كانوا بساطة يعني فاحنا جينا هني نعلم الجيل الجديد اللي ما يعرف هاي الأشياء لأني أنا تعلمت من أمي ومن يدتي ومن غيره شلون يسوون هالشيء فأنا جيت اليوم دوري أنا أعلم الأجيال الجديدة اللي ما يعرفون يعني هالأشياء Band leader Um Mubarak Al Mohanadi comes from a musical family and takes great pride in keeping the memories of her childhood alive 
فام يعني جداتي جدات امي او جدات امها هم اللي خذوا الفن يعني نفس تقول انت الشجره وفيها افرع فطلعوا يعرفون فن ان كان من صوب ابوي او امي يعني وقامت توارثون اجيال اجيال لين الحين وصل وانا اتمنى اني اوصله بعد حق عيالنا على اساس انه ما يندثر صراحه. في ناس يغنون يعني اغاني مال برا بس مال قطر ما في حد يعرف طبعا انا لان انا عندي كتاب من امي وحافظه و... وك... لاني يعني كنت مع امي يعني عاصرت فنها وكذي فانا عرفت لحقت على الجيلين ما اقول لك انا كبيره لحقت على الجيلين فلكن الحمد لله تعلمت يعني الحمد لله فاتمنى ان شاء الله اني اقدر اوصل او يعني لو شويه من التراث القديم صراحه All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Shakespeare couldn't be truer describing the essence of life and the joy of theatre. Here in Qatar, a community theatre group has been coming together to share their love for drama for decades. They call themselves the Doha Players, and I got to go behind the scenes for a look at how a fantasy tale comes to life. Andrew Robinson is a teacher by day, but by night, he's an actor in the Doha Players. And for the theatre group's musical production of the children's fantasy book series, The Lightning Thief, Andrew is playing Percy Jackson, the lead character. It's a seashell. Like I said... Being on stage is it's exhilarating. You get to play a role that is not your day-to-day -day life so you get to be something else and and try and portray it the best way you can and it's just about put yourself outside your comfort zone really that's also how he got into the world of theater without any formal background in the field but the Doha players taught him all he needed to know about the performing arts The community is very friendly, very welcoming. You get to meet lots of different new people with incredible talents uh, and you just keep learning off each other, which is lovely. Uh, and it, but it's not just people on stage, there's people backstage as well who help out a huge amount. Established in 1954, the Doha Players found its first home in a pretty unconventional space. Doha Players was founded from a, a small group of people at the time and one of their uh, very first venues at that time was to use a furniture shop in, in Sukhokif and there was a, a display area where furniture would be laid out during the day and then in the evening for the shows that would be cleared up and that provided for a, for a small stage. Since then, it's put together more than 200 productions from various authors and genres. From the set design to the costumes, it's all hands on deck for the staging of The Lightning Thief. With opening night being days away, all the finishing touches are being made and everyone at the Doha Players is ready to electrify the audience. The explosion of talent, creativity and diversity has only grown over the years. The entire theatre group is made up of volunteers that includes the technical team and all those who work hard behind the scenes who believe in putting passion over profit. Doha Players is a community of its people and these shows are made by all of the individuals that, that come and join us and there's a little bit of everybody in the show. And we differ from commercial theatre because each show is everybody's passion project. It, it just, the heart and the soul that goes into these productions is tremendous. He's very sorry. Tell the squirrel you're sorry, Percy. I am sorry. If I go and play pinnacle for a few hours, things might improve. For me, not for you, you'd be dead. You know the time I used to go for it. I'd wait by the bar, bar that rings all oh, no. long. Oh, I don't see me for thousands of things. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, 
With every act, song and dance, the cast and crew hope that the hours of their hard work not only shines through, but also touches the audience and transports them into their own fantasy world. And at every curtain call, the Doha players bow out, hoping to meet the audience again, spreading their love for theatre and the arts for more years to come. What they'll discover is the power of watching a live performance, of being involved in a live audience with a live cast and creating an experience that can't be duplicated anywhere else. To have emotion portrayed that makes you cry, that makes you happy, that makes you joyous, that makes you talk about it for half an hour all the way home, that makes you talk about it with your friends the next day. To have those experiences is what happens here, it's what happens in theatres everywhere, and it's what we make happen here in Doha, and I think that's very special. From Qatar's traditional performances to modern musical adaptations of fantasy tales, we hope you've enjoyed this episode, but that's all the time we have for now. For more, check out euronews.com and connect with us through our hashtag. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Qatar 365.